it was it was great to get a uh, a win. We've had so many kind of frustrating losses, and uh, thought it was a really hard fought game. I think Coach Martin there, at the Mexico State's really doing a good job, and and uh, again, it was, the game was played hard and it was played fast, and so it was good for us to kind of get a, a win underneath their belt. We um, have a couple of our seniors that that were injured in the game, which you always hate, kind of going into their last ball game, and uh, so um, uh, you know, other than that, it was. Uh, you know, it was a good outing for us, and obviously got a very good uh, Georgia Southern team that we have to face this week. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from uh, Randy with the Sun Belt Visual Network. Randy, please go ahead. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing this morning? I'm okay, Randy. Thanks. Um, you know, getting off the snide um, this past week, I mean, just, you know, what was the key to getting the win in New Mexico State? Well, I, I, you know, it was uh, – Obviously, I think that uh, just putting everything together and finishing, I thought our special team showed up. We threw the ball around uh, well. We're, we're, we're doing a better job of that right now than, than what we were in the season offensively. Defensively, we could have still kind of struggled a little bit. was a little bit worried going into the game, uh, you know, uh, about them having an open date, you know, and kind of maybe seeing some changes. And we saw a little bit, but not that much. And uh, going into this next ball game, I think this is the fifth opponent this year that has – the Saturday off before playing us, and so you had some of those same concerns kind of going into this next game. And uh, talking about the next game, I mean, George Southern's coming in. Um, they're going to have extra motivation with the, the outright title on the line. I mean, what's what's really the challenge of facing them down in Statesboro uh, this weekend and getting a win? Well, Willie's done a great job with that program. They play extremely hard, and so regardless, I think, of kind of what they're playing for, you're going to get the same kind of effort. Uh, and you know, obviously they're a very, very good football team. I think, you know, offensively they're hard to control, and and that's kind of where they've really shown some prowess. Is they've been very, very difficult for anybody to stop this year. And uh, you know, so we've got challenges, and um, you know, but we're we're anxious to to go play another game. Uh, it's been a frustrating year for us in terms of some of the close losses, and uh, so I don't I don't think our confidence has necessarily been broken or anything. But it, you know, it's it's a lot better to finish the games. I think our players understand that. And one last question. I um, just want to ask you about, you know, your defensive scheme against their uh, their option attack. I mean, what's really the biggest key? They run a different um, style attack, and you guys run a different um, style of defense than a lot of other schools run. I mean, what's really the key for you guys in stopping them? Well, I think any time that you're looking at uh, a offense that is based as they are, then it's it's all about defensive discipline. I mean, that, that's the key to always stopping any kind of option, and they – they put some challenges on you in relation to how they kind of get to things, and they know what they're doing systematically, and and so they're going to adjust based off of how you're fitting things and who's the you know, who's the dive and who's the quarterback player. And you know, for us, it's basically just to you know we, we've got to play with great discipline, and and then they're going to try to put you in one on one positions. They're one of the faster teams I think in the league uh, from a skill set standpoint offensively, and and so they try to get all the one on one matchups they can and try to win one on one in space.